Priorities USA, of course, is Obama's super PAC. Uh, they're running an ad about Mitt Romney's record in Massachusetts, to which I say hallelujah. Because remember, during the primaries, I kept telling the other Republicans, why aren't you talking about the fact that he was 47 out of 50 on job creation in Massachusetts when he was governor? He's third from the bottom. He sucks at job creation. Here's Priorities USA new ad on that. I'm an independent. I voted for him. I contributed to him. Governor Romney promised that he would bring jobs to this state. By the time Governor Romney left office, we had fallen to 47th in the nation in terms of job growth. Governor Romney cares about big business. He cares about tax cuts for wealthy people. And I certainly do not believe that he cares about my hardworking employees. I feel like I was duped by Mitt Romney. I'm going to vote for President Obama. Priorities USA Action is responsible for the content of this advertising. There you go. But they're not playing. They say that they're going to spend about $30 million on ads like that, emphasizing the fact that he did not get any job creation in Massachusetts. Now they're going to spend another $10 million, they say, on running the Bain ads. So actually they're going to emphasize this a lot more than even the Bain ads that have already done so much damage. Now they don't have that money yet. They say that they're confident they could raise it. We'll see how that goes. But the bottom line is, this is the right line of attack, saying, well, this, is guy, this guy claims to be his core issue, job creation. He knows how to create a job. Well, he was governor of Massachusetts. Why didn't he do it then? Why did he suck so much that he was number 47? So it's a very effective ad, if you ask me. Now, speaking of effective ads, oh, look at this movie trailer that the Obama team has put together on Mitt Romney and what he plans to do here at the Republican National Commission. They want to, basically, they have apparently admitted to the press that they want to redo Mitt Romney's image. So they're running this devastating ad. where thousands of jobs were destroyed by his corporate takeovers. One day we had a job, and the next day we didn't. From a state where his economic record was a failure, he <laughs> faces an election where the stakes couldn't be higher. This is a battle for the soul of America. And he's tried it all. I love this state. It seems right here. The trees are the right height. Corporations are people, my friend. I stand by what I said, whatever it was. But nothing is working. Mitt Romney's favorability rating is about half President Obama's. 50% of Americans view Mitt Romney unfavorably. His only hope is a convention reinvention. And an etch-a-sketch of epic proportions will be shaken to its core. I'm running for office for Pete's sake. On August 30th, Mitt Romney stars in The Do-Over. Critics have called his previous work wildly misleading. Four Pinocchios, pants on fire. Rated M for not gonna work. Damn! Who are these Democrats? That is unbelievable. They lit his ass on fire. Literally. Man. In the old days, if the Democratic consultants had come up with these ads, the Democratic candidates would have been like, no, 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 don't do that, don't do that. Oh, it will seem, uh, you know, rude. It'll seem offensive. It seems like we're attacking him. Yeah, you're running against him. Hell yeah, you should attack him. And they just took a two by four and they were like, hey, Mitt, how you doing? Whoa, what shit going on? Oh, God damn it, that hurts. Oh, and if they keep going like this, there's some chance that they are going to pummel him. Wow. I did not see that coming, man. That was some good shit.